top 10 gemstones from meteorites in outer space. They didn't spring from volcanoes. They didn't form over millions of years beneath tectonic plates. These gems came from somewhere far more violent, ancient, and mysterious, outside the Earth. These are nature's most extraordinary creations, formed in zero gravity, born of cosmic impact, and brought to our planet on fiery trails. Some are older than Earth. Others were once part of destroyed worlds. Welcome to the top 10 gems from meteorites in outer space, where every rock that falls from the sky and every sparkle has a story written in the stars. Don't forget to press and hold that like button, leave a comment, and hit subscribe before we begin. Ranked 10th, Hypatia Stone, the oldest gem ever found. Buried beneath the sands of the Libyan desert lies a stone so ancient that its origins may predate the solar system's birth. Known as the Hypatia Stone, this unassuming black fragment, measuring just 1.3 inches and weighing under 30 carats, is one of the most scientifically perplexing gems ever recovered from space. Discovered in 1996, Hypatia contains carbon-rich compounds not found in any known Earth rocks, meteorites, or planetary bodies. Some of its atomic structures are so irregular that they challenge existing theories of mineral formation. Embedded within are nanodiamonds, likely forged not by terrestrial pressure but by cosmic shock waves, the kind released during supernovae or asteroid collisions. Equally extraordinary is the detection of pure metallic aluminum, a substance that should not naturally occur in such conditions. These anomalies suggest the stone may have originated beyond our solar system, possibly from a comet formed in the interstellar medium long before the sun began to shine. Though its estimated market value hovers around $200,000, its true significance lies not in price but in provenance. The Hypatia stone is more than a gem. It is a physical record of galactic history, a mineral time capsule from the dawn of the cosmos. In the realm of space-born gemstones, Hypatia is without precedent. It did not fall, it journeyed. It did not form, it survived. It remains one of the only known gemstones with confirmed interstellar heritage. Ranked 9th, Jaman Shin Impactite, glass forged in a meteorite's fire. In a desolate stretch of Kazakhstan's steppe, the Earth still bears the scar of a prehistoric impact. Around 900,000 years ago, a massive celestial body struck with such violence that it melted surface rock in a flash, vaporized soil into plasma, and etched a crater now known as Jaman Shin. One of geology's rarest materials emerged from that violent fusion of heat and pressure, Jaman Shin Impact Heat. Impact heights are terrestrial in origin, Earth's minerals transformed under catastrophic conditions. These stones often exhibit a glassy or vesicular surface with dark green to black hues and rough pitted textures. Iron nickel inclusions within the melt hint at the extraterrestrial body responsible for the event. Most specimens range from 50 to 200 carats, though larger pieces have been unearthed during scientific expeditions. While few enter the gem market, Premium examples have sold at specialized auctions for as much as $10,000, prized more for their provenance than Polish. Jaman Shin Impactit is not a gemstone of brilliance. It is one of consequence. Each piece holds the memory of a split-second planetary catastrophe, a fusion of earth and sky preserved in stone. Ranked 8th, Widmanstetten Pattern, Stellar Architecture Locked in Iron. At first glance, it resembles dull, metallic, lifeless industrial steel. But under etching and light, a hidden structure emerges. A precise and ancient geometric lattice could only have formed beyond Earth. The Widmanstetten pattern is a crystalline design found exclusively in nickel-iron meteorites and nowhere else in nature. The pattern originates inside the metallic cores of early planetary bodies that drifted through space and cooled at an extraordinarily slow rate, as little as one degree Celsius per million years. During this glacial solidification, two iron-nickel minerals, camasite and taenite, aligned into octahedral grids and angular mosaics. Earthly conditions can't reproduce this process. It is a feature of deep space metallurgy. Meteorites like the Gibeon from Namibia and Monionalusta from Sweden are prized for preserving this phenomenon. When cut into slices and etched with acid, the internal structure appears in stunning contrast 
interlocking metallic ribbons that resemble alien schematics. Collectible slabs range from 3 to 10 inches and have sold for $5,000 to over $20,000, depending on clarity, preservation, and size. What sets this gem apart is not brilliance, but cosmic order. It is a relic of deep time, a silent witness to stellar evolution. The Widmanstetten pattern is not carved or faceted. It is revealed, etched by the passage of time, and framed by the iron bones of ancient worlds. Ranked seventh, Moissanite, the radiant remnant of dying stars. In the late 19th century, a discovery in the Arizona desert reshaped the understanding of cosmic minerals. While examining fragments from the Canyon Diablo meteorite, chemist Henri Moissan uncovered a set of microscopic crystals with brilliance surpassing diamond. These rare silicon carbide particles would later be named Moissanite in his honor. Natural moissanite does not form in Earth's crust. Its birth requires extreme temperatures and pressures that exist only in the hearts of exploding stars or the molten cores of carbon-rich asteroids. The crystals are typically hexagonal, incredibly hard, and found only in trace amounts within certain meteorites, most notably urolites and iron-rich impact specimens. While synthetic moissanite is common in modern jewelry, the natural extraterrestrial variety is rare. Authentic specimens weighing more than one to two carats are nearly unheard of. When documented and cut for collection or scientific preservation, prices can exceed $25,000 per carat, especially for meteorite-derived stones with full provenance. Mosinite is not simply a substitute for diamond. It is a celestial artifact, crystallized in the last gas of a star's life cycle. Its brilliance is more than aesthetic. It reflects the violent beauty of stellar evolution preserved in a gem that quite literally fell from the sky. Ranked sixth, black diamonds, relics of cosmic cataclysm. Hidden beneath the soils of Brazil and the Central African Republic, miners once encountered opaque, jet black stones that shattered expectations as easily as they dulled diamond tipped tools. Known as carbonado, these black diamonds defy conventional gemology in structure and story. Carbonado comprises countless microscopic diamond crystals fused, making it polycrystalline and incredibly tough. Its internal structure is riddled with graphite veins, gas bubbles, and high hydrogen content, markers that suggest an extraterrestrial origin. Many researchers believe carbonado may have formed in supernova shockwaves or within massive asteroids, only to crash land on Earth via meteorite impact over 2.5 billion years ago. These stones lack the brilliance and transparency of gem-grade diamonds. Instead, they offer a deep charcoal luster, raw, fractured, and elemental. In the world of high jewelry, facetable carbonado is rare, but when it appears in pieces over 50 carats, values can range from $3,000 to $10,000 per carat, depending on quality and provenance. Carbonado occupies a strange intersection, part gemstone, part geological anomaly, it neither refracts light nor conforms to traditional beauty, yet it holds a unique place among cosmic minerals as a solid fragment of stellar destruction, shaped not by volcanoes, but by the collapse of stars and the violence of interstellar impact. Ranked fifth, Lonsdalite, the crystal forged in cosmic impact. Not all gemstones sparkle. Some are shaped in silence, formed instantly when planets are struck and worlds are altered. Lonsdalite is one such gem, a rare hexagonal form of carbon believed to be the hardest naturally occurring substance on Earth, surpassing even diamond in specific orientations. First identified in 1967 within the Canyon Diablo meteorite, Lonsdale it forms under conditions Earth cannot replicate, pressures exceeding 1 million atmospheres and temperatures soaring above 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. These conditions occur only when a carbon-rich body, such as graphite, is pulverized during a high-velocity meteorite impact. Unlike the cubic lattice of diamond, Lonsdalite crystallizes in a hexagonal structure, giving it extraordinary directional strength. Its natural occurrences are microscopic, often intergrown with diamond and graphite in urolite meteorites in impact brushes. The largest verified specimens rarely exceed a few millimeters in size. While synthetic Lonsdalite has been created in laboratories for industrial use, natural samples remain exceptionally rare. 
Fragments embedded in meteorite matrix have been valued between $2,000 and $5,000, depending on purity and provenance. Lonsdaleite isn't cut for brilliance or worn for beauty. It is preserved for what it symbolizes, an atomic structure born in violence, frozen at the peak of transformation. It stands not for light but for resilience, a mineral born in a heartbeat yet destined to outlast the ages. Ranked fourth, Tektite, the sky-forged glass of impact Earth. Tektites are not gemstones born in the Earth's deep crust. They are the remnants of catastrophe, glass formed in midair when a meteorite collides with the planet at unimaginable speed. The result is that molten rock is blasted skyward, vaporized soil rains down, and droplets of superheated material cool while falling back to Earth. What lands are fragments of natural glass, dark, aerodynamic, and scarred by fire? Among the most notable are Indochinites, scattered across Southeast Asia, and Australites, found in the deserts of Australia, often shaped like buttons or tear-shaped projectiles. These forms are not random. They're sculpted by atmospheric re-entry, frozen snapshots of once molten debris streaking through the upper sky at 20,000 miles per hour. Chemically, tektites are high in silica, with traces of iron, magnesium, and aluminum, revealing their terrestrial origin. Yet their creation depends entirely on a cosmic cause. Most range from one to three inches and weigh under 100 carats, though rare specimens may exceed 500. Their surfaces often show pitting, grooves, and flow lines. Physical evidence of violent thermal ablation. Uncut and unpolished, Tektites are typically displayed in their raw form. High-quality examples fetch $50 to $1,000 in the collector's market, depending on size and provenance. They do not shine with precision or fire, but with the memory of impact. Tektites are Earth's glass tears, frozen when the planet met the sky in fire. Ranked third, Libyan desert glass, the golden remnant of a celestial blast. In the heart of the Sahara's Great Sand Sea lies a gemstone forged by time and fire from the sky. Known as Libyan Desert Glass, this natural silica glass formed approximately 29 million years ago, likely due to a massive meteorite airburst or impact that generated temperatures high enough to melt desert sand, over 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. The explosion left no confirmed crater, but scattered radiant fragments across hundreds of square miles. These pieces, often golden yellow or pale green, are unlike any other glass found on Earth. Most range from one to four inches and can weigh several hundred carats. Composed of nearly pure Le Chatelierite, amorphous silica, some specimens contain zircon grains melted by intense heat and trace elements like iridium, a rare metal often associated with meteorites. Libyan desert glass is one of the few gemstones on Earth confirmed to have formed from an extraterrestrial event. Its most iconic appearance dates back to ancient Egypt. A carved scarab of this glass was discovered in King Tutankhamun's pectoral, linking it to royalty and cosmic reverence. In today's market, high-quality specimens can fetch between $500 and $3,000, though their scientific and historical significance often outweighs their commercial value. This one glows with ancient light, a golden echo of impact cast across the sands of time. Ranked second, Moldavite, the emerald born of an impact firestorm. Emerald green, translucent, and riddled with intricate surface textures, Moldavite is unlike any other gemstone found on Earth. It wasn't formed in Earth's crust, nor grown in volcanic magma. It was born from a meteorite impact so violently that it reshaped the ground beneath it. Around 15 million years ago, a colossal space rock struck what is now the Reese Crater in southern Germany. The energy released, equivalent to multiple nuclear detonations, melted vast terrestrial rock and ejected it into the sky. As this molten material cooled mid-flight and rained across Central Europe, it formed droplets of natural green glass, Moldavite. Found primarily in the Czech Republic, Moldavite is rich in silica and aluminum and has no crystalline structure. It is technically a type of tektite, but with far greater clarity and vivid color. Specimens vary from 1 to 20 grams, 
though rare pieces exceed 100 carats. Its most prized forms display fern-like etchings and textures, evidence of aerodynamic shaping and rapid cooling in the upper atmosphere. While small pieces may sell for $20 to $100, museum-grade moldavite with exceptional translucency and sculpted surfaces can reach values over $5,000. Beyond price, it holds cultural significance. In folklore, moldavite was believed to bring transformation, protection, and connection to the stars. Moldavite is the most visually radiant, an emerald created not on Earth, but through its collision with the heavens. In the first place, palisite peridot, crystals from the core of colliding worlds. No gemstone on Earth captures the majesty of space quite like palisite peridot. Suspended in shimmering veins of extraterrestrial iron nickel, these vibrant green crystals were not formed in the crust of a planet, but between the mantle and metallic core of an ancient asteroid shattered in the chaos of the early solar system. It is not merely rare, it is cosmic perfection encased in metal. Palisites are a rare class of stony iron meteorites. Within them lie crystals of olivine, the same mineral known on Earth as peridot, but here it carries a story forged light years away. Formed under immense heat and gravitational pressure, each crystal embodies a violent planetary death. When massive celestial bodies collided, cracked open, and exposed their inner layers to the void. Only a handful of meteorites, such as Esquel, Fukang, and Imalak, contain gem-grade peridot large enough to cut. These stones often range between 2 and 20 carats and have exceptional transparency in color. Set against a matrix of ancient metal, they gleam with an ethereal olive fire, beautiful and undeniably alien. High-quality cut stones can command $5,000 to $30,000 per carat, while whole slices of palisite meteorite, polished to reveal the crystal matrix, are prized by museums and elite collectors alike. Among all known gemstones tied to the cosmos, palisite peridot stands unmatched. It is not a memory of impact or aftermath. It is a living cross-section of a world that no longer exists. Top ranked for its origin, rarity, and breathtaking beauty, it is the crown jewel of all Space Forge treasures. Each gemstone on this list carries a timeline that predates human history, sometimes even Earth itself. They are silent witnesses to supernovae, meteorite collisions, and the constant dance of celestial bodies. Unlike jewelry on Earth, whose value goes far beyond carrots and clarity, they are time capsules carrying stories from the deepest reaches of space. As technology moves farther into the cosmos and meteorite hunters discover new fragments from beyond, one thing is clear. We are only beginning to understand the treasures the cosmos holds, and sometimes those treasures fall quietly beneath our feet. Let us know which resonates with you in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.